Hey everyone, this is Alyssa of The Life of an Aspie, and I am no longer autistic. That's right, folks. I have cured my autism 100%. I am now totally, utterly normal. And it's all thanks to this. Seriously, I got this really helpful comment on my blog from someone named Sophie from Canada. I will read this comment to you. I am Sophie from Canada. I once suffered from a terrible and chronic autism since I was born. The doctor told me there was no permanent cure. I was given medications to slow down its progress. I constantly felt my health was deteriorating as I constantly go out of breath. And this illness was really terrible, especially when I'm going out with my friends. I have this constant disorder for about 31 years. This was really a terrible ailment. One thin day that I was going through the internet and I came across a post of Mrs. Kate and on how his son has been cured from autism through the help of Dr. Williams' herbal product. I contacted this herbal doctor via his email and explain everything to him and make purchase of his product. A few days later, he sent me the herbal medicine through courier service. When I received the herbal medicine, I used it for one month and two weeks as prescribed by Dr. Williams, and I was totally cured within the, those week of usage. On thin now, I have not experienced any sign of or characteristics again. For more information, you can visit this blog, autismepilepsy.com, for help. So let's click on this and see all about the uh, cure for autism. 100% natural cure to autism and epilepsy. Welcome, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what this is. This is- this blog is something really special here. And you can clearly tell, this whole website is very, very beautifully arranged and just impressive overall, I guess. Our search for light begins when we get fed up with gross darkness. In life, questions are asked when we are willing to clear up our assumptions and take further steps that will bring glory. A lot of people out there have been discouraged from nature and they have warned and threatened by Western doctors not to have any dealing with herbal medications. They have raised fear and apprehension to enslave humans in the chain of chemicals of English medications. Most autism patients have lived in such fear for decades. They denied themselves the love of mother nature through herbs. Okay, let's see. Let's read a little bit more. This kind of looks like it was just copied and pasted from some other source, considering the grammar and English of whoever made this website and that comment. Okay, so it talks about autism, talks about PDD, and then talks about autism and epilepsy. Autism medication and their side effects. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Williams' Natural Cure to Autism It is a known fact that autism and epilepsy have been in existence for centuries. The various paths and have treated and cured chronic diseases with herbs. Blah 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 blah. Something about Mother, mother Nature. Uh, Williams' Anti-Autism Herbal Medication is a unique product of Chinese herbal world. It was formally called Autism Herbal Cure until change of name. Blah blah blah. And now, here we go. The moment of truth. This is the cure for autism. Dr. Williams anti-autism medication. Raw, unpasteurized, unfiltered with mother. The ingredients is... What does it say? I can't read it, but I can tell it's apple cider vinegar because it says um, mother in there and that's kind of another term for apple cider vinegar. So yeah, this... This is a real piece of work here. And you can see all of all of their medicines and stuff that they have here. It kind of just looks like some sauces in some pantry. This is definitely legit. You can tell how legit it is because it has a picture of like a bunch of presumably English speaking people who supposedly put together with this website. Oh, and look! I found that comment on the same website, right down here. <laughs> Hello, doctor, I am Sophie from Canada, the woman you set free from autism. 
Uh, da, da, da. Saying thank you for what you've done, and and then like the same thing. Once I, I once suffered from a terrible and chronic autism since I was bone. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, I have been, you know, drinking the, the medicine. It's been working. I have like no autism left. I'm not like stimming or like having intense interests or being socially awkward in any way at all. And um, so what I do usually. As I take the jug of it, and like, here, I'll just sh show you. And I just get a nice, a nice little wine glass. And I just, you know, just kind of carefully just pour it in like this, you know? You want to fill it up real high. Just like that. And then I just drink it, just like this. And then my autism is all gone. Okay, in all seriousness, I don't do this. Don't drink apple cider vinegar. It's okay in some things, but don't do this, okay? Don't do it. Um, yeah, uh, apple cider vinegar or really anything. Nothing will cure autism. Autism is not something that you can cure. It's not a disease or anything like that. It does not cause going out of breath or whatever this comment said, which I'm guessing was just kind of a spam comment that someone, you know, copied and pasted and then, you know, put autism in there. Um, if you ever see any anything like this that's like claiming to cure autism or anything that is generally like not really known to be curable, like autism or epilepsy or like various other things, um, especially if they're badly written with bad grammar, just it's probably spam, just ignore it. Um, but yeah, autism is a developmental difference. Um, another, I guess, form of autism is Asperger's, or was Asperger's, which was in the, the, um, the DSM a long time ago before they took it out. And honestly, I think it's just a big part of like who I am and it affects just how my brain works, how I process the world. It's not really something that I can like magically undo in my brain. There are things that I can do and that other people on the spectrum can do to make their lives a little bit easier, but it's not something that you can just magically make go away. So that being said, <laughs> don't drink apple cider vinegar. It won't cure your autism. Uh, all right. Well, good seeing you and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye!